what's up people now since this is FTD news might as well share some news about FTD well if you guys are on my Facebook Twitter and Instagram you guys would already know that I am leaving to Jamaica yes so now the YouTube audience knows I'm going to Jamaica but relax yourself people calm your briefs and your panties I'm not going away forever I'm only gonna be gone for a week so I'm leaving the Wednesday and I'll be gone for the Wednesday that's like in the middle of the week so I'll probably only get next week's Friday's episode done and then everything will be back to the regular Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule after that. So yeah, it's been such a long time that I've been back home. It's gonna be nice people, sun will be shining, the weather is going to be sweet. So guys, don't miss me too much. I said that I'm not gonna be bringing my phone because I wanna be disconnected completely from the world, but I can't leave you behind. It's gonna be hard. Maybe I will, maybe not. So if I do bring it, you know, check the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all those kind of things to keep updated with the pictures and everything. But if not, just I'll see you when I come back, okay? Well, anyways, now let's jump into things. So today's question of the day is, how old are you? Our first story is about Zara Hartshorn from Yorkshire, England, who suffers from a genetic condition where she looks so old, brethren. She's 16 years old and she looks 16 years old. So she ended up getting a facelift that made her look a little bit younger and her condition is called lipodystrophy which is a degeneration of the fatty tissue and the bone causing the skin to hang and be saggy and she inherited it from her mom. So Zara's story got out and then these amazing surgeons in the USA heard about it and are like yo we're gonna do this cosmetic surgery for free. So although she still looks older because she'll never look like her age currently, she said that the teasing has died down and she managed to find a boyfriend. 22 year old Ricky. So it's good to see that Zara has this newfound confidence and we move on into some sad news down in Canada or up in Canada, whichever part of the globe you live in. We're only down if you live in like Iceland or Greenland or some anyways crazy flooding going down in the province of Alberta started from last week high waters have left at least three people dead and about a hundred thousand people had to abandon their homes and many people had to be evacuated from the downtown Calgary Alberta area and big respects to horsey girls set 25 who gave me the heads up of this story I also have friends and families that live in Alberta that are directly affected affected by this flood. So I guess that's why it means a lot more to me now. So normally I don't do this, but guys, if you honestly do feel that you want to help out and offer some assistance, I do have a link to the Canadian Red Cross website where you can make donations of whatever amount you feel. You can give them a call or shoot them an email if you want some more information. I know I definitely will be helping out and we hear floods happening all the time, but I guess when you know people that are personally affected by it, it does pull up on your hard strings a little harder. So again, if you do feel that you can be of assistance, the link to the donation page is in this video description. And if you can't help out, you just can't help out. And now time for some big news. No pun intended. Actually, yes, pun intended. Twinkies are making a comeback. Hostess, the company that owns Twinkies, went bankrupt last year. But the Twinkies brand is going to be resurrected. Hostess says that everything will taste the exact same, except all packaging will have the slogan, the sweetest comeback in the history of ever. Aww, how sweet. Hostess sold many of its brands to Flower Foods and the company that bought the Twinkies brand from Hostess and also some other brands, they paid over $410 million. Who knew these little bars of sugar, heart attack and diabetes were worth so much? I'm just saying people, they're not healthy. The Twinkies are set to hit the shelves again July 15, 2013. All the people trying to eat a little more healthy, well things just got a little more difficult. And finally, the trial of George Zimmerman has begun with the selection of six jurors, all of them female. Reports say that five of them are white and one is a minority. I honestly don't know why they use that terminology when they just told us that five of them were white. Minority? If it's black, say black. If it's Hispanic, say Hispanic. It's not no difficult quadratic equation. There are also four alternative jurors, two males, two females. But because of the tension surrounding the case, the six jurors and also the four alternatives are sequestered and if you guys are one of those type of people that have no time to google these big time law terms basically sequestered means that the jurors are going to be isolated from the public 
and the jurors are only allowed to use their cell phone to once a day to contact friends and families and they'll be staying at an undisclosed hotel for the entire trial. But anyways people, that was my 5 cents on everything and on Wednesday I asked you guys what you would think if you saw a woman with extremely hairy legs and this is what you guys said. So thanks for tuning into this episode of FTD News. Don't forget to give a boom thumbs up if you enjoyed it, share the love with your friends and I'll see you guys when I come back from the Jamaica vacation. So until then, live good, stay safe and hit me up on Instagram, man. Shoot, I have to build a following up on there now. Anyways, so until then, I'm Lee Rice said, man, Kentan, the original natural bond, Jamaican black man. Boom. Mel.